Hey there everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist customers from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to perform is the SIM unlocking of a device in order to be used with a different carrier other than the one that originally sold it. By default, most mobile devices are going to come with some sort of lock that restricts them to only being used with the original carrier and they have to undergo some sort of unlock process in order to be used with a different carrier or a different network. Now, here with us today, we happen to have a Samsung Galaxy A6 and this is one from T-Mobile here in the U.S. As we'll be able to see here, this is one that has not yet been SIM unlocked because when we have a different carrier SIM card inserted here, it tells us that the device is network unlocked and it wants us to use the device unlock app that comes installed on the phone. That's something that T-Mobile has used uh, starting back in maybe 2014 or 2015 where they got rid of the standard unlock code mechanism and they went to their own pre-installed app on all of their Android devices. So if we go into the T-Mobile apps here in the T-Mobile folder, we will see that device unlock app loaded there and that is what T-Mobile has on all of their phones. That's how they control the standard SIM unlock process that they offer if they do the unlock for you. Now, of course, they will do the SIM unlock for you if you meet all of the requirements, just like pretty much all US carriers. But the requirements are that you be the original owner, that you have the device fully paid off, that you have used the device with them for a certain amount of time, yada, yada, yada. So we've been contacted by tons of customers over the years asking us for assistance with getting this specific device unlocked. And that is something that we are now able to do. So we're making a video to let any interested customers know about it. And that's exactly what we're going to do right here, right now, while the video is running. So we have it plugged in, we're running our unlock program on it, and after it's done and reboots, we should be able to see that we can indeed get service and signal on the test SIM card that we have inserted here. Now as of right now, of course, it's going to tell us that the SIM card is invalid and that it's network locked because the unlock process has not been completed yet. If my focus would cooperate there. And that's going to be the standard message that you're going to see on any of these models when it has not yet been SIM unlocked from T-Mobile. While the unlock program is finishing running up here, I'm going to go ahead and just jump into the settings real quick to show you exactly what we're working with. So again, we have a Galaxy A6, and then that model number there, the A600T, is what uniquely identifies it as a T-Mobile model. It actually looks like our unlock program just finished running so that's the reason that the phone's restarting, so that's a good sign. We're going to go ahead and just disconnect it here. And then while we're waiting, I should mention that this is something that we can do for just about anyone anywhere in the world. So you don't necessarily need to be located here in our local area in order for us to be able to do this for you. You just need to have a decently powerful Windows computer along with a fast internet connection. And we can connect directly to you right through the internet and perform the exact same procedure that we just did right here right now. So we will notice that up top we don't have that invalid SIM card notification anymore. Instead, it does show Cricket up there in the corner as the network that we're registered on. Now Cricket is the main prepaid brand of AT&T here in the US, so that is indeed a totally different network. And then we also have our signal bars over here. We'll see if it'll cooperate to show the LTE signal and the bars. It would help if the screen would stay on longer, but I can also just jump into the network settings to show that it is fully registered. So if we look under SIM card status, we do indeed show that we are registered and running on Cricut with the device in service and LTE fully enabled and everything else. So the device has now been fully SIM unlocked and is usable on other compatible carriers, both here in the US and in other countries. So if you have a T-Mobile Galaxy A6 and would like help getting it SIM unlocked, we would love to help you out with that. So go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact information can be found right down in the video description. And I'll also put a slide at the end of the video here that has all of the details there as well. Make sure to check out some of the other videos that we have here on our channel as we offer a lot of different services for a lot of different devices. And I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy someday. Make sure to hit that subscribe button while you're there also to be notified of all the new videos and services that we're constantly adding and putting up, just like this one. Y para todos los hispanos hablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes nos pueden contactar sin duda. 
Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great day.